All right, guys, no messing around, getting straight into it. The first brand that you want to be looking for is named Cool. It's K-U-H-L. We got that tag right there printed on. This is a really cool brand. It's, uh, it says Born in the Mountains. This is an outdoor brand. A lot of people really like it for its quality. This, I'm going to pop up a bunch of uh, solds right here. All of these that you're going to see are sold from my own store. So that way you guys can see the things that I'm picking up are actually selling. And these are things you're going to be wanting to look for when you're out in the wild at thrift stores and garage sales looking for clothes. So yeah, the first shirt in no particular order for men's clothing, you're going to want to look for Cool. Cool is an awesome brand, amazing sell-through, amazing prices. Next up, I'm not even sure how to pronounce this, but that's the cool thing about reselling. You can do the research. What sells, sells. You don't even have to know a ton about it, but you constantly want to be learning more and more. I think it's Macu. It's M-A-C-E-O-O. -O. It's an Italian brand. They make a lot of dress shirts and a lot of fancy designs. This is a kind of simpler one, but you want to look for ones that have the flip cuff. Flip cuff means the design on the inside of the cuff is different from the outside of, of the original pattern. So yeah, this is also an awesome brand. Uh, you'll see here, it goes for about 40, about 30 to $50. Next one up, we got Peter Millar. This is a nice, nice mall brand that a lot of people like. You wanna look for the Peter Millar Summer Comfort. That sells for a lot more. This is just a regular Peter Millar polo shirt. Still gonna sell great. I got this, I think for $3, it should sell for about 18 to 24. But with the uh, summer comfort, you can even add a couple bucks on top of that. Next up, won't come as a surprise, Patagonia. Patagonia, I find this decently in my area. There's a lot of other resellers. Everyone knows about Patagonia, so I don't get it as much as I'd like to. But yeah, enough said about Patagonia. Next up, Carhartt. Everyone knows what Carhartt looks like. Carhartt is a workwear brand. I'm actually gonna make a video about this. The cool, rich, popular kids are slightly moving away from vintage and they're moving into workwear. Workwear such as Carhartt, Wrangler, a bunch of other brands. You wanna look for fire resistant stuff, rugged fit, you know, Western brands. Work in Western is really starting to make its way up and I'll make a separate video about that sometime. But yeah, Carhartt, their t-shirts sell for more than a normal t-shirt. Their button-ups, their jackets. I actually have what's called a Carhartt bib. Um, the Carhartt bibs, they're just like that overall you know, for work. Those sell amazing, $100 plus. Another really cool one from the uh, early 2000s, Affliction. I'll show you guys this tag right here. Affliction is really cool. Um, it's uh it's just a it's just a cool brand they have they have a lot of uh, embroideries and all over prints just be looking out for affliction their shirts do really well i i don't think i've ever sold one for less than 30 dollars uh, so affliction's a really good brand next up polo ralph lauren everyone should know what polo ralph lauren looks like this is a modern one you want to look for the ones that have this silver tag i could show you guys but we'll just keep moving on um the silver tags go for a little more just because they're vintage. You gotta be careful with Polo Ralph Lauren because some of them, like a regular polo small pony shirt like this, you know, a lot of them only go for like seven or eight dollars. This one, because it says Pima Soft Touch will go for a little more, but you just gotta do your research a little more when it comes to Polo Ralph Lauren because there's a lot of them worth eight dollars, but there's a lot of them worth 30, 80, couple hundred. Next up, a brand that I find pretty often. It's called Eaton. I'll show you the tag on this one. Eaton, it's a dress shirt. These are really high quality shirts. A lot of people really like them. Um, I sell these anywhere from $25 to $50, normally closer in that 30 to 40 range. I sell a lot of them for 35 plus shipping, 40 plus shipping. Eaton, definitely a brand to be on the lookout for. I didn't know about this one when I first got into selling shirts, but I quickly, felt the quality of it at a thrift store one time and that's all I needed and now you look it up and you know that Eaton sells really well. Next up, David Donahue. I'm not sure how big this brand is. I don't find it very often here in Utah. 
you know, people might be able to find it more in New York, Los Angeles. I'm not sure about that, but in my area, I come across this every once in a while. When I find it, it sells really fast. Really similar to Eaton and, and uh, Robert Graham, just a high quality dress shirt that you can wear outside of, of those formal activities. Um, really good shirt to be looking for. Next up, this is one that I find in my area a ton. Um, it's the Duluth Trading Company. I wanna look for that tag right there. It's a newish company. I mean, a lot of these companies have been around for like 80, 90 years. This has just been around for a few decades. Really nice quality shirt. Um, it's one of those kind of like, I wouldn't consider this a workwear shirt, but it's closer to that kind of cowboy, um, blue collar kind of shirt. So another great company to look at. On that note, this is probably right now my favorite and hottest brand to be looking for. Ariat, this is an Ariat Pro Series. Ariat really got their start making boots, uh, cowboy boots. Then they then they really started to popularize their workwear, their shirts. They've got Western shirts. They've got the really heavy flannels so that you can bale hay and do all that all that good work while you're also looking good. And you know you can wear their shirts to weddings, formal events, things like that too. So Ariat, really popular. I'm going to show you guys again. This is a Pro Series shirt, uh, but they have all types of different lines. Ariat is a really, really, really good seller. So look out for that one. Extremely fast sell through, right? Again, you guys are going to notice that I live in a smaller town in the West, on the West Coast. With that being said, there's a lot of cowboys. There's a lot of blue collar workers. There's a lot of guys that work for a living. They get their hands dirty, but they still want really quality shirts and they want to look good at the same time. Here's another one of those brands called Cinch. This is a rodeo shirt. A lot of guys that you'll see in the uh, in the big big rodeos, like on in Las Vegas, the, the, the international rodeos, a lot of guys wear these shirts because it's a really high quality shirt while they're out there on the bulls and the, on the horses. So yeah, this is a cowboy shirt. This is obviously like a, a more in your face fancier one. Those are dollar signs all over it. Um, but a lot of them are just gonna look like a nice Western shirt. These sell extremely fast as well. I just barely sold one of their polos last night, but you're you're not gonna find too many polos. You're mostly gonna find these, these more Western shirts. Next up, one that we should all be familiar with. It's one of America's sweetheart brands, Wrangler. You definitely want to be looking for these kind of older tags. And then this one, how it says X long tails, X long tails. That's a bolo. Um, these shirts sell for a premium. Not all Wrangler shirts are made the same. Like, like I said, with polo, Ralph Lauren, some of these are only going to sell for four or $5. Some of them are going to sell for 80, 90 in my area. Like I said, with the, with all these Western guys, I find these vintage ones all the time. The last two weeks, I've sold nine vintage Wrangler shirts for over $60, a few of them for $80, and I sold one of them for $190. It was a really cool Aztec print. So yeah, don't go crazy and buy every Wrangler you see because most Wranglers, not worth much, but the, these vintage ones, you just got to learn how to identify vintage. You get like this one, for example, it's colorful. It's got the pearl snaps. So you just got to learn the small details that make a shirt worth an extra five, 10, 15, $50. But Wrangler is a really awesome one that you can do a deep dive on and learn about and really start getting some sales from it. Next up, Robert Graham. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty new to selling men's shirts. I've only, you know, haven't been doing this for years and years and years. From YouTube, I've learned that this used to be like the ultimate bolo for men's shirt. Um, this is a flip cuff. I think that they're kind of most popular for the flip cuff. Um, when I think of flip cuff, I think of Robert Graham. Robert Graham, really awesome shirt. I guess back in the day, these would sell for 100 plus, no matter what the print. And then people really started to find out about them. So now they've come down. I had this shirt listed for about 50 bucks. Um, it's a decent one. They usually go for 40 plus nowadays, and but there's still some really awesome shirts. They go for, you know, 80, 90, 100 plus. Next up, Bad Birdie. I hope this is a new bolo for you guys. Not a lot of people know 
about this one. This is a newer golf company. I've told you guys throughout this video that I live in a town where there's a lot of Western wares. Uh, this is also a retirement golf town. There's a ton, a ton of golf courses. Honestly, it might be probably like our biggest economic pull in, in my in my town is golfing um, and medical because there's a lot of old people here. But yeah, golfing is awesome here. Bad birdie. This shirt, even with even with this random logo on the side. Oh, pro tip real quick. Don't be afraid of random companies stitched into arms of, of golf shirts. People don't care. It might diminish the value by one or two dollars. But if it's on the side like this, no one really cares. If it's on the chest, you might have to take off five to ten dollars. But even still, if it's a really good brand like Bad Birdie or another couple shirts I'm about to show you, don't be intimidated by these. They still sell really well. But yeah, Bad Birdie. This is a $60 shirt right here that I got for $2. Tommy Bahama. Everyone kind of knows about Tommy Bahama. Tommy Bahama's price has come a little bit down over time just because so many people know about it. It's a really awesome brand. They're in thrift stores all across the nation. So people are catch. So resellers have been catching on. They've been buying them a lot, putting them up a lot. So you got to find the ones that are, you know, silk. You got to find the ones that are embroidered. They have a lot of special print runs um, that have a cool graphic on the back that is specific to like red rum. Um, some, they have some tequila ones. They have um estate sales like the boat you know it's kind of cool not every single tommy bahama shirt is going to make you a huge profit but there's a lot of them out there that will and they're very readily available so tommy bahama should definitely be on the radar if you have stopped selling tommy bahama shirts i encourage you guys to do a little more research into them because there's still a ton of them that are worth over 40 dollars, and i pick them up very regularly Guys, I'm really blessed to live in the town that I do. Harley Davidson. We have a really big Harley Davidson warehouse just on the suburbs of my town. Um, they produce a lot of shirts. And there's a lot of super fans of Harley Davidson in my town. So I see a ton of it at thrift stores and garage sales. You want to make sure that you're getting authentic Harley Davidson shirts. It's a very highly faked shirt. So you want to do some research on some tags. Um, this Harley Davidson tag on the back, it says Hanes Beefy Tea. Exactly what you want to be looking for. Um, and then, yeah, Harley Davidson, a lot of their t-shirts sell for hundreds and hundreds of dollars. A lot of them sell for 20 bucks, 30 bucks. This is an example of just like, you know, probably $25 shirt. But yeah, Harley Davidson is definitely a shirt you guys want to be looking for because it can make you a ton of money as well. Last one I want to show you guys here, Travis Matthews. This is another really awesome golf brand. I personally wear Travis Matthews almost every single day. It's a really nice shirt. It's really quality made. Um, you can get them lightweight or heavier, just depending on what you like. It's a really awesome golf brand. A lot of people really like Travis Matthews. I feel like this is going to be kind of like the next Tommy Bahama it's pretty popular. More and more resellers are finding out about it. The price has started to trickle down a little bit. But even this very simple, solid design, it's a 25 plus shipping shirt. This is an XL, great size. Travis Matthews, very high sell through late. I love finding Travis Matthews and thrift stores don't really know about them yet. So I always get them for two to five dollars. It's really awesome pickups there. So yeah, those are the 20 best brands that I find in my area. Now, my area could be different than yours. A lot of people are gonna find things like Vineyard Vines. I've only found one Vineyard Vine shirt in my whole, my whole thrifting career here in my, in my town. Um, I don't find a lot of the North Face, which is actually surprising to me because this is a this is a mountainous town and, and a very adventurous. I guess I just need to look out for it a little bit more. But yeah, a few of those, a few, there's a, f a bunch of really good brands that I didn't go over in this video that a lot of people will be able to find in different areas. But just because of where I live, 
I don't find those brands a lot, but as you guys saw, there's a lot of different brands here that maybe you can't find in your area, but I find them a lot because of, you know, just the, the environment and the makeup of my town. But yeah, guys, it, men's tops, men's shirts, there's a lot of money to be made online in them. You just gotta know what to look for. And if you can find these brands, you'll make a ton of money. Sweet guys, I just wanted to add a couple bonuses into here while I'm here. One of them that I didn't go over, jerseys. As you guys know, I live in Utah. This is a Donovan Mitchell Nike jersey. Really awesome. Because they traded Donovan Mitchell away to the Cleveland Cavaliers, I guess my thrift store was just salty about it. They usually make jerseys like this $20. This was $2. <laughs> so that was great for me. Gonna be able, they're still still gonna be able to sell. This is a this is a great jersey. Um, also, while we're at it, baseball jerseys. This is a really cool one. Uh, this obviously is not um, an old one. It is Bo Jackson who is retired, but they just they just do reprints. They do special edition jerseys all the time. This is a really good one to look for. Great one. Then we got here. We got a. Uh, Vintage Nike tag. You always want to be looking for red Nike tags. It means they're vintage. Eh, I mean, late 90s, early 2000s. A couple of them won't be technically vintage because they have to be 20 years old to be vintage. So a 2004 shirt isn't vintage, but a 2003 is. Wildcats, Arizona, really cool. Double uh, XL, this, this is a team apparel shirt, really cool. So yeah, look out for things like that as well. And then obviously you wanna look out for coats and jackets. Um, again, another Footjoy, another golf brand that I find a ton in my town. Golfing is golfing is very popular here. Very blessed to be able to find a ton of, ton of golf brands. There's their logo that you guys wanna be looking for, FJ. And then, you know, jerseys, coats, jackets, Workwear, like I told you, those overalls, they're called bibs. Um, here, I'll pull them out real quick. Got these at a yard sale. And that, are right there, the Carhartt. I'll sell these for a minimum of $50. If I'm patient, I can put them up for 100. I'll get 80 plus for these. Um, but if I put them up for 50, they'll sell immediately. So don't, don't limit yourself to just polos or just t-shirts or just button-ups. There's a lot of different stuff out there that can make you a ton of money. But yeah, uh, these, are, these are a couple things that you guys want to be looking out for. And then guys, just lastly here, I wanted to go over just a couple of tips. Um, a lot of people think it's very necessary to iron and steam these shirts. It's not. People really really don't care. And some people swear by it. Oh, I steam this. It gets me an extra five to $10 per cell. That's cool. That's cool. If, if you want to do that, you can do that. But when you're processing hundreds of shirts and you're, and you're, you're taking the time to steam every single one, you're adding hours and hours and hours of processing time to your business when you could just be finding and listing more shirts. So if you guys check out my eBay account, you'll see some of my shirts, they have wrinkles. Some of my shirts, they're not the perfect presentation of a shirt, but it, dude, if it's a good brand, it's gonna sell. People, people are buying used clothes. They're not expecting perfection. And the people who are expecting perfection is probably just gonna be a return anyway because they're buying used clothes online and they have that great expectation that it's gonna be perfect when it's not. You don't have to waste hours and hours prepping clothes. Get them up, go out, find more, get those up too. Um, another thing you guys wanna do is you wanna get a measuring stick. There's this, I'm not affiliated with this group, but there's this uh, reseller ruler. You can look them up on, on Instagram. I'll go grab it for you right here so you guys can take a look. Resell Ruler, if you're watching this, uh, reach out to me. Let's, uh, let's get an affiliate program set up. But yeah. Here it is right here. It's called the Resell Ruler. Um, you're able to just put this on a shirt to get the pit-to-pit -pit measurement. And you can see how long the shirt is all in the same picture. So that's a really cool um, thing to use right there. If you don't want to spend money 
then you can just take two photos. <laughs> awesome quality video right now. I'm still new, guys. You can just take two photos with a measurement from pit to pit. And then that one. And then one last quick tip um, when it comes to selling clothes online, do flat rate shipping. If you do calculated priority shipping on these on these coats and these things, like it's going to be like $17 sometimes and people just, they're just not going to pay that. So what I do is anything less than 14 ounces, I ship out for $5.87. I usually make about 50 cents off of the shipping, which is awesome. Sometimes I lose 28 cents, but when it, when it all comes down to it, I'm averaging about an extra 40 cents of profit because of the flat rate shipping. Don't go wild with it and do like $8 or $12 for these low low weight clothing items. If it's under 14 ounces, I put it for just under six bucks. That's what people kind of expect to pay. Then if it's over a pound, I am a little high on this one. I put 9.95. Some people do 8.99, 8.50. Just kind of find what works for you. Do those flat rate shipping. You'll get more sales. You'll get more consistent sales because if you're doing calculated, it sometimes is just kind of all over the price and it can really push people away.